the next topic is uh, mapping variables and parameters so I'm creating a new mapping here first then I will explain why we are using mapping parameters and variables so here create a new mapping first first drag and drop uh, EMP source and EMP target okay so I'm changing this name of the EMP this is para generate this table in the database EMP para okay so here when we are creating any filter we are using direct values not only in filter if you want to check any conditions or if you want to calculate any expressions okay we are using other transmissions in other transmission directly we are checking values whether those values are correct or not okay so here in this example basically what we are doing we are creating the condition in filter transmission where employee number equal to so and so job equal to so and so high date equal to so and so like that we are creating conditions but for example today I want 20 department details in the target tomorrow I want to monitor 30 department 40 50 60 so based on our requirement I need to get related department values for the analysis so every time instead of changing the values in the filter condition we can pass the values using parameter file so dynamically instead of changing manually we can pass values dynamically so first I am creating a parameter here mapping parameters and variables add a variable here variable are parameter we can switch dollar dollar is required department number the type is parameter here data type is integer ok next here I am creating the condition go to port select the column equal to by default we are giving the values 20 30 40 50 60 but instead of giving the value I am giving dollar dollar department number to this dollar dollar department number we are passing the values to this dollar dollar department number we are passing the values using parameter files we can use this parameters n number of times in n number of transmission for any condition calculation so based on the type of the column based on the value okay n number of parameters also we can create in one mapping so everything is created I am creating the session create workflow parameters ok create the session session on parameter mapping s underscore m underscore parameters the session name In mapping change the connection for the target and this is the filter condition department number equal to dollar dollar department number save it and 
we have to create the file that is important in file we are creating a dollar dollar department number and we are giving value to the that column right click new text document the text document name name is para so here we have some syntax folder name dot session name here the folder name is dev the session name is s underscore m underscore parameters the variable name is dollar dollar dbpt and o equal to 30 save it okay so here after creating the file we have to give the file path in the session level so based on that file path it can identify which value we need to use c colon backslash para dot txt this is the file name okay save it go to workflow start workflow so that t department details you will get in the output parameters so total six records we got see that output Scott Tiger 30 department C okay so instead of changing value in the filter transmission I'm changing the value here here dollar dollar department number equal to 20 save it and go to monitor and run again now we will get 20 department details in the target so five records just refresh it so first the filter condition is department number equal to 30 and second we change into 20 so now I am changing into 10 save it and run the mapping restart so now we will get three more records 10th department go to designer refresh it so like this instead of passing manual conditions we can pass the values using dynamic conditions okay so the syntax is folder name dot session name here the folder name is dev dot session name is the particular mapping session name so this is one syntax and one more syntax also we have here global global is common if this parameter is available if it is available in any mapping we can use instead of creating folder name dot session name instead of that if you are using global this parameter value can access any session okay for example a mapping is there in a mapping I have dollar dollar department number in B mapping I have dollar dollar department number instead of mentioning two session names two folder names directly we can make it global we can use save it again I am running okay but uh, we have only 10 20 30 in EMP so uh, now we will get rejected rows because we have the primary key on employee number okay restart task okay so three records we got but those three are rejected because of the primary key so like this we can use global also okay global or folder name dot session name I'm repeating the steps instead of giving the direct values we can use mapping parameters so ma using mapping parameters dynamically we can change the values in the parameter file so first go to mapping parameters and variables option and then add a parameter or variable select the name dollar dollar the column name 
the type is parameter and the type of the column data type okay so this is one option to change the values from the files if you want to give any default value you can mention initial value also every time when the mapping is running every time it will take that initial value okay so different ways we can give the values to the conditions so these are the mapping parameters thank you